All right, welcome back everybody. Thank you for joining me. I'm Sean Whalen in the third video in the Barbell Built Body YouTube series. Uh, today, we're gonna be talking about the tucking your elbows cue, um, why it's kind of misinterpreted or can be grossly misinterpreted and kind of a bad cue to be honest. It's basically garbage. So let's talk about initially what is, what is the tuck your elbows cue. Ideally, you're trying to maintain that scapular retraction and depression, which is kind of going to naturally you kind of get some external rotation of the shoulders and keep tension there, right? So this is a good solid pressing position. Now, how is this misinterpreted? Well, let's first of all talk about grip width. Grip width on the bar is going to decide how adducted, or sorry, abducted, so where your arm is here during your press. So the wider the grip you go, watch where my elbows are. The wider the grip, the further abducted my shoulder is. The bigger this angle gets right here. So with that said, why is this important? Well, and this is assuming, sorry, let me, this is assuming the bar is touching the same place on the chest. So for me, it's just below kind of the nipple line. Um, so it's gonna be right about here. So in the bottom of my press, uh, this is where my grip is. This is where I'm, this is where I'm at. So at the bottom, so you can see that angle here pretty low. One of the issues is as the shoulder abducts more, so as the grip gets wider, there's more torque on the shoulder. And I'm going to link uh, some great kind of study talking about grip width uh, and mechanism of injury uh, with regards to grip width, but let's address this real quick. More torque on the shoulder does not mean you're going to injure your shoulder. It means it's you're increasing the risk factor, right? Anytime you greater loading is going to increase your risk for injury. It doesn't mean you're going to injure yourself. So with that said, now oftentimes I think people try and counteract that and tuck the elbows cue. So the tucking your elbows is just should be to maintain that tightness in the upper back and kind of maintain that tension in the external rotators, right? Because the pec's going to be working to internally rotate. So you're kind of trying to fight that during the press. So your shoulder doesn't cave in, the scapula doesn't protract, you lose all shoulder stability. That's what you don't want. So how does that translate then? What happens if we try and actually force tuck our elbows? Let's go through it biomechanically. So like I said, we'll take, I'm gonna take my grip width here, which happens to be about one and a half times my biochromial process. So which is just one and a half times shoulder width basically, um, which is above this, you start getting further levels of abduction, which is, remember, a greater risk for shoulder injury. It doesn't mean there is a shoulder, um, going to be a shoulder injury. Uh, so I'm going to go here. Like I said, this is my pressing position. Now, this is where my arms are going to be at the bottom of the press, right? This is the angle of my shoulder. Now, if I try and tuck my elbows, watch what happens. I externally rotate my shoulders out, which drive my elbows under the bar. So now, if we're looking at it, from the a side position, the bottom of the press, my elbows go from being uh, perpendicular to the floor to now not perpendicular to the floor, right? So the elbows are driven in front of the bar, which is gonna put more torque on the triceps because the line of action of force is gonna be behind. It's not gonna be going straight down through the elbow. It's now gonna be going straight somewhere through here. Puts more torque on the triceps. This is a suboptimal pressing position. Right, so we don't want that. So by force tucking your elbows, you're thereby trying, you externally rotate the shoulders, which adducts the arm, so drives the arm down, which pushes the elbow in front of the bar, which means now you have more torque on your triceps. It's a suboptimal pressing position. Do not force tuck your elbows. Yes, you wanna maintain tension, you wanna maintain that scapula retracted and depressed, and so kind of maintain that open chest, that overall kind of open, externally rotated, but you're not trying to drop, force tuck the elbows and drive the elbows under the bar. Don't do it. I hope this tip was helpful. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to hit me up. Instagram, my name's Simple Fitness by Sean. Uh, drop some comments below, like and subscribe. Uh, love to answer any of your questions, and I hope this was helpful. I'll see you guys in two more weeks.